Have you been thinking about maybe powering your Starlink Mini off a 12 volt USB-C plug adapter? Well, you've come to the right spot. So we're not only testing out one, I got two different brands here. We're gonna run them head to head and see how things stack up. And if you were also wondering about powering it via other methods, well, stick around to the end because I've got some info on that as well. All right, let's roll to the intro and get going. I travel around in all kinds of different environments, do a lot of camping. And with that, I get to really put gear to the test. I'm not just here to sell you crap. Now I'll put affiliate links on some of the stuff and I truly do appreciate it if you choose to use those links. But that's not what this is about. This is about me testing things out and helping you make a better decision to see if it's gonna be a good fit for you. Welcome back, let's get going. First off, nothing in this video is sponsored. I bought everything with my own money. I do have some Amazon links in here and I'm an Amazon affiliate. So if you purchase using those links, I do get a small kickback at no extra cost to you. All right, let's get rolling. First off, Starlink Mini. What do we need to power this bad boy? Let's go look at their specs. Now they've got some different power requirements, but the ones I'm concerned with here today is the USB-C PD or power delivery. The requirement for that is 100 watts, 20 volts, five amps minimum. And just a heads up, they do have a cord coming that's supposed to be a USB-C to 5521 barrel connector. That's a requirement for the Starlink, but it's not out yet, so I've got a different option. So I got trusty Amazon to hook me up. It's got a USB-C 5521, that's 5.5 millimeters on the outside, 2.1 millimeters on the inside. This cord's rated for 100 watts, and it's six feet long. Now, if you're interested in something like this, here's a QR code for those of you watching on your television, and there's also a link in the description. I'm gonna be using the actual cord that comes with Starlink to test this out. Now, these two connections, they are not going to fit together. But that's fine, there's an adapter. So I've got this adapter here that's 2.1 female to female. Plug it in. And plug that in there. That's going to give me my 49 plus feet from my Starlink mini cord and an extra six feet from this USB-C cord. I've also got a link to this guy in here. QR code, all that good stuff. You want to purchase one on Amazon and have a similar setup. All right, my power supply for this is gonna be my Goal Zero Yeti 500. I did another video where I powered it through the USB connection, but it only goes up to 60 watts PD. It worked fine for my testing, but somebody else that tried it had issues with it tripping the internal breaker. We're gonna be switching things up. We're gonna be using this style plug to be able to power everything through this 12 volt connection right here. Both of these models have 100 watt PD. We're gonna put them head to head against each other, see if there's any difference. I'll let you in on a little secret. I'm not gonna waste your time. They both work. It is blazing hot outside. So I'm gonna get my mini plugged up. I'm gonna go set it out there where it gets nice clear signal. Now, I'm not gonna hang out there with it. That's one of the reasons I wanna use their 49 foot, you know, I call it a 50 foot cord because God, that just makes it a lot easier. But 15 meter, 49 point something something feet long. All right, let's go. Got the cord running. Into the nice shade of the umbrella. I can't plug this cord into here. So I got my USB-C. Take that, bam, plug that in there. Need an adapter to fit these two plugs together. There we go. And we're off. Now, unfortunately, it is way too bright out here to be able to see the LCD screen that's right up here. I'm gonna cut over to some footage I did last night. That way you'll actually be able to see the screen. It's been, oh gosh, it's been 15 minutes. 
and every and I apologize for the noise every single one of my freaking neighbors seems to want to do yard work in the middle of the night so here we go all right we're gonna check out a video well I'll just kick the old sound down I've heard this guy before all right I'm gonna let this video run for about five minutes and then I'm gonna check it and just make sure that it's working fine we seem to be going good power's still fluctuating quite a bit but hey it's still on and it's still got power night is quickly approaching Let's see where we're at here four minutes 50 seconds still going strong working like a champ so i actually don't have a link for this one because i can't find it on amazon but i picked it up at my local best buy and i noticed walmart also carried it so if you don't want to use amazon bam this guy's for you Get this Watobas in. Plug it in and let it start doing its magic. Now again, it's too bright to be able to see the screen out here. I'm gonna run it through the same test. We're gonna do 10 minute initialization and five minutes of video. But you can't see anything because it's so dang bright outside. So we're just gonna be cutting to that night footage that I took last night. So here we go, test number two, the Watobus. I'm probably saying that wrong. But that's cool, you know how to spell it. All right, plugging this guy in. Turn it on, it's white, let's see. 17 to 20 volts, it's supposed to turn red. Whoa, look at that. That's pretty dang cool. All right. We're going to let this guy boot up. Give it a, give it 10 minutes. Then we're going to play five minutes video. Make sure it's working. In about 10 minutes, connect it back in to good old Star Max here. Play some video. I'll see you back in about five minutes. Five minutes, still going strong. So which one's the winner? I wish I could give you a clear choice, but honestly, they're both just really good. I'd say, if anything, not even for Starlink testing, the USB-A quick charge might put the Rexing a little bit ahead. But I'm only using them for Starlink, so who's the winner? Well, I am because now I have two of them. If you're interested in remote adventure travel and staying connected while you're doing it, hey, consider subscribing. Hopefully shortly, once my Jeep gets out of the shop, I know there's a joke there, but once my Jeep gets out of the shop, I'm gonna be heading on a two month long road trip across the country. The entire time I'm gonna be working a nine to five. So I've got to stay connected. If that sort of stuff interests you, please join me for the trip. If there's anything that you would like to have tested out in the real world, not my backyard, hey, let me know. I'm happy to help if I can. And as promised, here's a link to another video I did with some different power options for you. I hope this helps you out. Until next time, enjoy the ride.